we start with a size 12 hook and a 1 8 bead which I'd probably go with a size smaller I should have probably used a smaller bead but it'll still work it's still deadly if I would have a smaller bead Now we're going to measure our pheasant tail, we'll tie that in, I'd have probably used a little smaller thread too, probably a 70 denier, it's, you know, I, it's a little big, I was probably using the streamer tying thread, but anyway, um, I'd tie that in, and you're going to tie in some fine gold wire for rib. I'm going to wrap the pheasant tail up to right about a, uh, leave about a bead gap for the rest of the fly. Now you rib this, rub the rib the opposite way you did the pheasant tails, makes it more defined and makes the fly stronger. Now we're going to tie in a, about, I'd say about an eighth wide chunk of nymph skin, shiny side down. Okay, we're going to tie in the lively legs. You want to tie in the very front legs pointing frontwards right behind the bead. Right, put the legs up against the bead. And that little piece there is just a tab. You'll have to cut that off later. Now, if you don't have lively legs, you can buy some in the link below. Or you can just skip the legs and pluck out the dubbing. Now you want to cut off the little tab and the back set of legs. As close as you can as them thread wraps as you can get without cutting your thread. Now I use brown. Um, a lot of guys use black. Neither one's deadly. I would you know, do what you prefer. Uh, but you're going to wrap this UV dubbing up in between the legs and we should cover all that pink underneath and cover that up and then wrap it right up behind the bead.
Now you're going to pull that nymph skin up, fold it over, and tie it down right behind the bead. And then cut that nymph skin off and put a thread wraps behind the bead. Now I like to throw a little bit of Sally Henson's on that thread and behind the bead and a little bit on that nymph skin. I hope you like that third fly of day three of the challenge. And the challenge, the idea of the challenge is so you tie every day. And these flies are some of our favorites. That way you're prepared. Trout season's coming. It's starting to warm up. You guys are going to be going fishing. So I hope you're here every day this week tying all these flies up so you're ready. By the end of the week you should be good to go with the nymphs anyway. You guys have a good day um, see you tomorrow at the same time five o'clock every day this week see you tomorrow at five o'clock you guys have a nice day keep your lines wet out of the trees and only give them fish a sore lip <laughs>